I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to write characteristics and the equation of a polynomial from the given graph. The equation here is write a polynomial function from the given graph and describe its characteristics. So when we are saying write a polynomial function that is equation of this graph right. So uh, in this particular video let me go in the reverse order. I'll describe the characteristics first and then come to the equation part, right? So let us figure out some characteristics and then we will try to get the equation. Now always domain and range is something which is a good characteristics to start with. So we know domain in this particular case is x belongs to real numbers and in this particular case range is y belongs to real numbers okay so there are no restrictions Pol polynomials have smooth curves as it is shown here now next we notice the end behavior and from here we see that it goes from quadrant 3 to quadrant 1 right side is up right so we can write end behavior end behavior is when x approaches negative infinity this side y approaches negative infinity and when x approaches positive infinity y also approaches positive infinity and has how many zeros one two three four zeros so it has four zeros let me describe these zeros for you the first one is at x equals to minus three and in the brackets, I'm writing multiplicity. This is straight, so it is like 1, right? The other one is at x equals to minus 2. The order in this case could be 3 or 5. It is, let me write 3. And then we have one at 0. So one we had at x equals to 0. The order is 2 since it turns, right? So that is the order. And then we have 1 at x equals to 1, uh, which is linear, right? So what we notice here is there are one two three four x intercepts and when we talk about zeros we are writing multiplicity or order here right so this is order or multiplicity zeros will give you behavior at the x intercept for the given graph right so and that will also help us to get the equation now can you tell me from here what kind of leading coefficient do you expect? So we know it's a odd degree polynomial, right? Since both are going to the opposite ends and uh, odd degree polynomial with leading coefficient as positive. As positive. Now how do you know that? right side is up that is how we know it so this side is up so that means leading coefficient a n is positive that means a n is greater than zero right so it is positive now let's get back to writing equation so let's get back to writing equation now equation of this polynomial we can write with the help of these zeros so let's say this function f of x is equals to a times First zero is at minus three, so it becomes x plus three. Then we have at minus two, it's x plus two. Since it is odd degree and flattened here, let me take three. It could be five also. But for this example, let's take the minimum order, right? Then we have x square, which is at origin, and then a linear zero at one, so x plus one. I hope now you understand why am I writing these things in the bracket, right? So those things give us the multiplicity to find the value of a we can utilize the given point p at minus 1 it is minus 4 so f of x is equals to minus 4 when x is minus 1 so let me replace x with minus 1 
I'm sorry, this should have been minus 1. This 0 is at 1, right? So this is minus 1. Correct. Let's continue. So it is minus 4 equals to a times 3 minus 1 is 2. And here we have 1 cube. Then minus 1 is 1 whole square. And here we have minus 2. So when you multiply, you get what? 2 times 2 is 4 with a negative sign. So we get minus 4a, right? So minus 4a. So dividing by 4, we get a equals to 1, right? So we get a equals to 1, and that gives us the equation, correct? Since a is 1, we can now write down our equation of this function as equals to, this is 1 for us, x plus 1 times x plus, I mean, 2 whole cube, x squared times x minus 1, correct? So that becomes the equation for the given function. I hope you understand and appreciate how we've got the equation from the graph. So look into the zeros and their multiplicity to write down a general factored form of the equation and find the value of a using a given point. Okay, and then you have, once you know a, you know what the equation is. In our case, a is 1 and therefore the equation is x plus 1. You can always rearrange and write this. So let me again write this equation here. So we have f of x equals 2. Let me write x squared first, right? x squared. And then we'll write x plus 1. This is because of this 0. x, I'm sorry, we, we missed x plus. This is the equation. Let me rewrite from here. x plus 3, this 0. x plus 2, x square we have already taken and x minus 1 okay so that was some mistake and this is cubic so this is cube right so we have this one as a linear 0 this one cubic 0 at 2 and then we had so this was x plus 3 this 0 okay x plus 3 so that is how this function is <coughs> let me correct it x plus 3, then we have x plus 2, whole cube x squared x minus 1. Yes, that is how the equation should be. So we found that a is 1 in this case, and the equation is this. a1 means it is positive, greater than 0. So right side is up, or degree function. That is perfect. I hope you understand and appreciate how to get the equation from the given graph, and also how to write characteristics of a polynomial from the given graph. Thank you and all the best.